Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter one talking about mobile world and continuing ahead with the next tutorial of this chapter which is 1.3 mobile device types. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding that how exactly mobile devices are distributed and they can be of different types as well. Being a mobile application tester, it is very crucial for you to understand what are the various different types of devices which can be a constraint for you when creating and testing a mobile application. Does matter when it comes to the resolution, the screen sizes, the resources which will be used as a part to support your application when they run on different type of devices. That's where we bring to you an understanding of what are the various mobile device types and what kind of features does they really have which can be taken into account while working on a mobile app. So there is a variety of mobile devices available that support different types of application. The typical devices include basic phones which are like the keypad phones, feature phones, smartphones, tablet and any of the companion devices including the wearable and the some IoT which are Internet of Things. When testing, it should be kept in mind that each type of device has specific features for particular needs. Now what are these devices and how we can actually elaborate them in order to understand the unique differences between them we'll be looking at in the next slide. Now let's talk about each of these type of devices in order to understand how they make differences between them and why they should be considered in terms of factors or constraint to work on it. Now basic phones are the one which are used for telephone and SMS services only and provide very few built-in apps and games. The installation of the apps or browsing is not possible. And we are talking about the older phones which used to come with a keypad facility with a very small uh, kind of you know screen which just had kind of dot matrices and pixels to showcase a particular text on the screen. In fact, not having a color screen in as well, and you used to get those snake kind of games to play around, and mainly these devices were used to manage calls and SMS over the phone. The other one is feature phones, which provide limited support for apps and app installation. They provide internet access via a built-in browser and may have some additional hardware such as camera. That was the next level where the basic phones advanced to where you had some of the other models from the Nokia again which had a color screen in fact and had some additional options like inbuilt games which were additional games to play around and at the same time they had an inbuilt browser to use GPRS at that point of time to run some of the browsers and browse online things and definitely had a small camera inbuilt to start taking pictures at a very small and low pixel rate. The smartphones today, the world of smartphone which you are definitely using currently is another category of the device type which provides phones with several sensors. The operating system supports features such as application installation, multimedia support and the browsing as well. When it comes to tablets, it's just like smartphones but they are a little bigger in the size. And these are similar to smartphones but are physically larger in size. They are typically used when a larger display is needed or desired and they may also support longer battery life. Companion devices, which are basically your wearable devices, kind of, you know, you have the Fitbits and any sort of or Bluetooth devices which you connect to your phone, which can display some of your messages on the screen and definitely on the go. So companion devices are some IoT appliances for the computer powered devices commonly used together with a smartphone or tablet to extend the available functionality or to give access to the data on the phone or tablet in a more convenient way. Now wearable devices are the devices that can be worn by customer. These can act as a companion to existing devices or function independently as well. Watches and fitness bands are the example of popular wearable devices these days what people are trying to use. So when you talk about the bands, the fitness bands which also connect to your phone where you can untag it or you can unlock it or even you can get your notification messages, calls, notifications right on that devices that is the bands and in fact the smart watches are similarly the same thing. So we are talking about considering all these devices where you want to sync up tomorrow with your app notifications and users should be able to have the convenience of using your app on that same as well.
So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be talking about some more interesting things at the basic level from the mobile world and giving you that heads up on the understanding of what exactly these devices are and how exactly this can be feasible for one to understand. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.